waiting for that wind to stop a little bit here. So up here at the Low Highlands and on the Low Highlands Trail, this really unique area. I can't even describe it. I'll show it to you though. Let's have a look. Looks kind of like a little bit of a canyon there, doesn't it? It's all rock. Uh, you see all these cracks. The rock. They go pretty deep. One of the more beautiful areas. It almost looks like it's man-made when you get here. It's absolutely not. It's natural, 100% natural. No question about it. A lot like the boulder field, further on up. It really is a walled canyon. All this lichen growing on the sides. Very coarse sandstone. You can see some of the pebbles in it that uh, the ancient ocean that this was deposited from. You can really see it here. The idea of a hand. even caves. Go back underneath. Steps. Leave it back out of it. It's just stunning. Stunningly beautiful. I forget what they call the place, but I happen to love it. You're hiking along, especially in the fall like this, you get a real deep appreciation for places like that. They make you feel like you're part of the mountain. And there's more up ahead too. I mean, it's beautiful little box canyons. You can imagine when, if those are cracks, probably go straight down the whole side of the mountain. Just filled in over the years. 
because it's you're looking at probably about three, four hundred million years worth of debris is what these mountains are. It's where there's trees and it's rounded off a long time ago. <laughs> that would have been all like out west, the Rocky Mountains or the Grand Canyon, places like that. This whole area, this whole ridge. Fascinating for its natural history. I love it. Did I mention? I love it.